Hello Angela, it's Robert again. There's Tom the painter. You can tell he's a painter because he's covered in paint. Ah, uh, so Tom and I just did a great walk around and I'll tell you what we've been talking about. And I kind of want to prefix this that I am not trying to spend all your money, I promise. Uh, I always consider my job to tell you everything that I think would help make the property more marketable and sellable and then it's obviously your decision as to uh, what you want to do and, and don't want to do. So, uh, colour wise what Tom and I have talked about is a uh, light grey for the body of the house and then around the windows a, a whitish grey and then around the, the trim um, doing sort of a charcoal colour I believe uh, and then the deck would kind of match the, the trim there that would make the property look a little more modern um, you know you can see there's some deferred maintenance down here so he's gonna have to cork all that in a little bit of a low spot here you can see as water would come down it would pull in that corner not much you can do about it other than kind of dig this whole area out but you do have a bit of a berm here as well to stop some of that moisture coming um, but that would come up, come up on inspection and moisture is a, a big hot topic uh, all right let's go straight into the basement no let's continue around the outside for a minute so you've got some stucco on this walkway down to the french doors uh, this is going to need to be painted you've got some cracking uh, of the stucco there I think that can be corked or there's like a stucco repair kit I think these lights need replacing here I think we need to just let people know what this is I'm assuming it's for a generator a backup generator um, okay let's keep going love the fact that we have six parking spots up here Sorry, lost you there for a minute. Um, I think this, these earth tones, these sort of 90s earth tones really do date the property because uh, this upper level really has a lot of uh, selling features. So Tom and I are suggesting a, a light gray on everything and then uh, painting the trim white. One thought could be to replace the doors. These flat panel doors are, are very 1970s, but believe it or not, they're actually back in some parts of our market. I think the kitchen's actually pretty darn good. I'm thinking these are Ikea cabinets, but only an Ikea person would know. Backsplash isn't, I mean, you wouldn't see this today, of course, in new construction, but it, it's actually pretty attractive and, and, and nicely done. Uh, you could replace it. Not where I would spend my money right away. Got some touch up on the cabinets here. Good handyman can make that go away. You know, these ivory biscuit colored light switches, a great little trick to update a home is just to replace these out with something more modern. That's not a very expensive thing to do. Tom and I do feel that this slate really dates the house. And I know we talked a bit about that. So I would go ahead and actually wrap this in reclaimed wood, beetle kill pine, uh, similar to what we put at the entryway. So you've got this post here and then you've got this wall here and all over there as well. I could get a quote for you and what my guy would do that for. Carpet does need to be replaced. Uh, there's some damage to it in certain places. It's just pretty old and worn down. Although these 18 inch tiles, I think are, are fine. I wouldn't be touching those for the moment. Recessed lighting, these are all pretty old. I'd switch those out for some more modern recessed lighting. Get, it, get away from that biscuit ivory look. And then see those cracks. These are all just stress point cracks in my opinion. Although, you know, I'm not uh, an engineer. Tom can make those go away. Uh, when he retextures and, and paints up there, two up there. Uh, I'm kind of split on this um, glass wall as to whether just to go ahead and 
again, wood over it. Um, I might let somebody a little more qualified than me weigh in on that. I actually kind of like it. Again, older recess lighting. That light's coming away a bit. This is sort of early 90s. Eh, 90s could be replaced. Tom's going to paint the doors white. And you've got some repairs here. You know, bleach spots on the carpet that we talked about. In the bathroom, um, I actually don't mind these mirrored doors. The, again, this, this, the style is, is very dated. So I would go ahead and replace them with some mirrored doors again, or maybe a few regular doors and then a couple of mirrored doors. It all depends on what your handyman can find at the local, local stores. Wouldn't do too much in here. Again, replace those ceiling lights, uh, paint it white, and then the bathtub needs some corking. There's some broken grout around there. This all just sort of needs cleaning up. It feels very, very beachy right now, like I'm down in Florida or South Carolina, and uh, obviously that's not very Colorado. Alex's room, just missing the doors there. Switching out the hardware to make sure it all matches. You can see that's brass where pretty much everything else is uh, going to be, so I think it's brushed nickel maybe. Juliana just left a little bit ago, so I'm pretty sure nobody's in here. Yep, this room needs a paint, certainly. And the you know, carpet's pretty bad in here. I know people like to try and clean these stains out, but that's a challenge. It's kind of buckled at the front there as well. This is the rabbit room. I'm madly in love with Louis the Grey Rabbit. She's awesome. So I would go ahead and we're gonna paint this, switch out some light fixtures maybe, and then turn it into a, a walk-in closet. I think that's ideal. All right, let's go downstairs. Getting much more familiar with the setup. You know, I think the paint's pretty good down here. I think uh, Nate did a, a, a good job. I think we can go ahead and take out the brass. And again, the yellowish light fixtures, and that's a really old one there. We did see some water damage, which we think might be from where that grout is missing in the tub. This looks to be that sort of general area. It's dry, but obviously that needs to be, needs to be done. You know, if anything, down here, maybe a different shade of, of this white. It's, it's just very yellowy. You know, I'm kind of torn on this wall. Um, you know, I think some buyers would see that as an advantage. Uh, some wouldn't. I, I don't know if it's really worth pulling that out right now, frankly. I think it's worth noting that it could be removed, but I think there's some value in this space here. Now, obviously, you can see some stains here on the carpet from probably where people spilled coffee. Tom feels very strongly, and I, I agree with him that all this paneling here needs painting. Uh, we talked about leaving the desk as is, but taking out, again, very 1970s. Uh, I'd remove all the blinds, let light come through the house. I would replace some of these dated light fixtures with something a little more modern. That's for the humidifier. Little room back here is, is a little curious. Um, I'm assuming at one point this wall might not have been there. Or maybe it was because those tiles are cut around it. Interesting. But to find a fireplace in here is a little surprising. You know, we got these very dated light fixtures in the office. 
Smoke alarm needs a battery. All right. This is where your mom was staying. All pretty good in here. Tons of light fixtures. This must have been kind of the business meeting office. You can see that in-ground electrical point there. Works great as a bedroom for the moment though. Bathroom could really do with some updating. This is probably the most dated part of the house. We've got those lemony, limey counters. Same with the tile. Light fixtures, half missing. Vinyl. I think this could all do with a bit of a spruce up. Back into what I call the guest quarters. One of the young gentlemen's in there, that's a flex room. There's no window, so it can't be a bedroom, but it does have a closet. Linen, laundry, this is all great. Panel, I was a bit concerned about. You can see they've kind of torn off the brand of the panel and here as well. So that, that might be a Federal Pacific, I don't know, or, or similar. The abandoned furnace, we think it's abandoned because we know there's two other furnaces just to the north of us, hot water heater, but you know, an HVAC guy checking that out would be a great idea. Guest quarters. You know, you've got some little nicks and such like here that, uh, hey, how you doing? Hi. I'm Robert, I'm the realtor. Okay. Good to meet you. A few little nicks that uh, Thomas can take care of or even Nate as he walks around. Kitchen area you're familiar with, I wouldn't do much in here. I mean, the stove's incredibly outdated. Uh, I don't even know if they make stoves that small. It's like a camping stove, I think. Maybe trying to replace those. And what's your name? Uh, Coleman. Coleman and Robert. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Coleman's room. Just a mirror image of uh, the other side of the house. All right, anything I've missed? Let's go out back. I'm sure you're aware there's a missing lock there. Amelia this morning told me that they were working on that. Out back here, some of these caps have sort of been replaced. I think they're loose. That would come up on an inspection as a safety hazard. This area is fantastic, I love it. And this, I'm delighted to see a drain there. That's really good, because as you can imagine, moisture comes down and kind of sits. There is no drain over here, and there's a low spot over here. That's a little bit of a concern. And then we have this fiberglass coating on this concrete wall that's kind of chipping away. I think Thomas will talk to you about that, about what he can do there to just tidy that up. And then some chipping concrete. I think that could be smoothed over if need be or just, just cleaned up. Be great to get the fountains working, but uh, not 100% necessary. I think that wall's coming down from what I've heard. Another one of those dated floodlights too, in fact. One, two, lots of wires kind of dangling down. Get those cleaned up. Another low spot over here. Obviously they've done a good job of managing that with this extension, sorry. But you can see that water comes down here and goes against this area, so that would be an inspection item. But gosh, look at all of this. That's pretty incredible, 1.7 acres. It's hard to find, it really is. And we are hoping for some people, it will be a little pot of gold. Alrighty, we'll turn the camera around, say goodbye.
for the moment. I'm going to try and get with the city today and clarify a little more as to the potential usages of the property so when we come to market it, we can tell people exactly what they can do with it. All right, thanks Angela. Cheerio. Bye.